What's up, guys? We're here. Welcome back, man. We are still on mid-season patch day. Man, we are just having so much fun with this season, but today we are going to be testing so many things, and today we're going to be testing Doombringer, okay? Doombringer, if you go look at the patch notes, did get a 100% shadow explosion damage increase. So now your shadow damage has been increased by 100%, which is fantastic. So we are going to go do a 110 and just kind of test this out and just see how this feels on Rogue because this is a a build that or we are playing heart seeker so this is going to be fun to just to see the lucky hit explosion damage and just see how it goes we are going to do a 110 just for keepsake go ahead and get our pot on and we are going to rock okay this should be pretty fun we're going to see how it goes this should be great i'm very very excited to see some of these buffs uh the andy's helmet is still bugged but i wanted to just make this video just see how the explosion damage feels I mean, it's probably still going to feel like Heartseeker damage, but I mean, it is cool just to see the extra shadow damage and just see how it goes. It's nice just to see. Doombringer is even better now. So, yeah. Doombringer, super strong for speeds. Still working. Still working really good. The explosion damage you can see there in the white, the white ticks. Pretty good, pretty good white explosion ticks. I just saw 14 million there. That's pretty good. So Doombringer is a little bit better, guys. You could probably go back to this on Heartseeker um, or other really good lucky hit builds if you're playing any. Um, this, do this doesn't feel bad whatsoever, and we're just kind of like blasting through this. There we go. Get rid of the get rid of all that. The shadow damage scaled pretty good. Not too, not too shabby at all, guys. Um, we're just kind of going through all the tests, guys, in this uh, this new patch. All the things. See if any of it is actually still pretty good or not. So you guys let me know down in the comments if you guys are still playing with Heartseeker or not. Um, and then if you are using Heartseeker or if you're using Doombringer in the build. I know that we talked about Doombringer um, at a certain point. I'm not even going to grab the shrine because I don't think we need it. Um, but now with all the pit changes, man, it feels really good to be able to farm some of this stuff a little bit over 100, a little bit more consistently. But yeah, Doombringer seems pretty good. The shadow damage isn't anything um, to ride home about, but uh, it is kind of nice. It's a little bit extra damage. Right, I'm trying to, trying to keep an eye on the damage that I am doing there. What was that, 21 million? I think I just saw. Yeah, that was 10 million right there, just shadow damage trying to catch it 18 million that's not bad um i could be mistaken the shadow damage for uh heart seeker damage but i'm trying to catch it i think because i think they both the heart seeker plus the Doombringer both come up as white so i'm trying to catch it so yeah let's see let's go do the boss I hate the sharpshooter, man. So annoying. He just runs away like a little girl. Shadow damage, baby. Yeah, I kind of wish the damage numbers would give us more ways to see like certain things trigger or not. You know what I mean? Like, I think that would just be really cool. But yeah, guys, still still blasting, man. We got a unique there. What is that? Another Scoundrels? Not bad, man, but um, yeah, guys, Doombringer, still very viable. Obviously, the, um, the max life bonus is still absolutely insane. The damage is still good. The life steal is amazing. And then the shadow damage isn't bad. Um, and then the, D the DR for it is actually pretty good, too. So uh, Doombringer, still very, very good, even with the... 100% shadow explosion damage increased. You're not really scaling this in too many ways, but uh, yeah, Doombringer's still really good. Um, definitely dig it, man. So guys, like the video, comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about the Doombringer changes and everything. And don't forget to subscribe as always. Stay gaming. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.